The experiments you will see have been carefully done by professionals and should not be tried at home without parental guidance. Please follow the caution signs throughout this program. And today, I don't know what we're doing, but it sounds like it's going to be another fun day, isn't it? It's going to be, yes. I, I, we're going to break something. <gasps> Do you like breaking things? Yeah. <laughs> now, when I break things, it's usually a disaster. So at least this is planned, right? Right, <laughs> it's planned, yeah. So I'm here with Briley, Benjamin, hey. Liam, and Melanie. And we're so glad that you're joining us. So tell us a little bit more about breaking things. Yeah, it's actually, have you ever broken something? Yes, I have. What did you break? I broke a glass. A glass? In my kitchen. Why did you do that? I dropped it. Oh, it's an accident. Yep. Okay. Melanie, what did you break? I dropped a tray. A tray? Yeah. Did it break? Mm -hmm. It did break. Hmm. Anybody over Benjamin, what did you break? Well, I dropped a um, toy car. A toy car? And the wheels came off. Oh, the wheels came off. Was it made out of glass? No. I'm glad it wasn't made it out of a, glass, but yeah, things break even glass. if they're not made out of glass, right? Did you break anything? So, uh, <laughs> so um, I broke this little thing that you put on um, a mug. Okay. Like, I like the saucer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I kind of made, made out of like ceramic or it something. It was made like out of that. glass. <laughs> and it broke. But you didn't do it on purpose. No. No. Well, today we're going we're gonna to do, we're going to break something on purpose. Ooh. Yeah, because we're, gonna, we're actually going to be looking at a chain reaction. Okay, so mm -hmm. who can tell me what a chain reaction might be? Can you think of something that might be a chain reaction? You know, something happens, and then that causes something else to happen, and that causes something else. To, yeah. It's like, a dom um, it's like a domino effect. Oh, the dominoes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you stack them all up. Yeah, that's kind of like a chain reaction. Yeah. Um, like uh, when um, you have like a whole um, shelf of books, and it falls on the other books, and it falls on the other books, and it yeah. falls on the yeah. other books. Yeah, and those are kind of fun things to, to build, right? Yeah. Any chain reactions you can think of? Are you driving a car now? No. No? Okay. Oh, do we have chain reaction accidents in a car? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, that yeah. could be severe, couldn't it? Oh, yes. But what we're going to do right now, if you look at the bottom over here on the floor, we actually have a piece of glass. That's a sheet of glass. Now, that glass came from my house, and you know what happened? Uh-oh. It, uh, it was in a door, and that piece of glass was, it had another piece of glass right beside it. But you know what happened? One day we had somebody, somebody was mowing the lawn and they were edging, right? Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden that little edger string hit a, hit a rock, a really hard rock, and the rock hit the glass, the other piece of glass, because there was two pieces, right? Whoa. And it shattered it. It absolutely shattered it. Well, that's what we're going to do. But we're going to do it on purpose. Whoever was mowing the lawn, they didn't do it on purpose. It was an accident. Yes. Did, was it really hard to clean up? Yeah, it's really hard to clean up. And but get we're every gonna, piece of glass out. But we're going to talk about <laughs> safety glass because, you know, we use safety glass when we don't want to get hurt with all the pieces of glass, right? Yeah, yes. because we don't want glass just shattering and big, long pieces, jagged pieces, we could, we could cut ourselves and that would be bad news, right? Like uh, the windshields of your car. Yeah. That is a type of safety glass. There's, a, there's a, a, a piece of glass, then there's a, a very, very thin piece of like... Uh, Plastic? Some kind of plastic, <laughs> right. And then there'd be another piece of glass with sandwich with plastic mm -hmm. in between. And when that glass breaks, it holds together, but it will still shatter. So when this particular type of glass is made, they, they make that glass on the molecular level, they make it under compression, compression. So take your hands like this and just, just make your hands push in, into each other. That's compression, right? So it's forces pushing in. But when the little rock hit that glass, the other piece of glass that shattered, what it did was it broke, it broke a little tiny bit of that 
compression, and then we had a chain reaction, and that caused the other pieces on the molecular level to shatter, 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 and pretty soon the whole thing just was all into little tiny pieces. But we don't get hurt by little tiny pieces, at least they're not real big shards of, of glass that could hurt us or go even through our body. That would be bad news. So would you like to see that happen over here? Yeah. yeah. Okay, we're going to get a cool. chain reaction. We're going to break that tension, okay, in the glass. But you know, when we actually have this right here. What's that? A hammer. A hammer. Now, don't do this at home go to somebody else's house and do it there, under their permission, of course. So, Melanie, I'm gonna give you this hammer right here, and you guys can move forward a little bit. All right, bit. safety glasses Safety first. glasses, let's see what we got. Safety okay. glasses. Come, come around here, Stand Melanie. right here. There right. we go. Stay right, right. above All there. All right, so, yep. so what, what we're gonna do is, yeah, you can, you can kind of kneel down. We have, everybody has their safety glasses on. So she's got the hammer, and we're gonna have her hit the side of the glass. You don't have to hit the side of the glass to shatter this, but it's the easiest way to do it. So she's gonna hit the side of the glass right right, yeah, right in there someplace, and we're just going to watch. Okay, now, but this could, you know, the glass could shatter just by a change of temperature sometimes. And that's happened in my car, by the way, yes. It could, it could like break like when it's super cold. It glass. could. The change of temperature Tem could break yeah, that glass. Does. Okay, Melanie, are you ready? All right. Okay, all right. So we could, you know, we could give her a countdown three to one. Do you want to count down three to one? All right. Okay, and let's see. Uh, and it might take a couple of times, but we're going to try it. Are you ready for this? <laughs> I can't hardly wait. This is going to be so cool. All right, let's give her a countdown. Let's go. Three, three two, two, one. one. Whoa! Oh, oh, my. Did you see that? Oh, did that happen so quick? It did. Oh, it happened so quick. Now, I'm going to take a piece of this and, and it, check this out. Look at that. Now, that's interesting. These are little tiny pieces, very, very tiny pieces. And look what it does. It breaks up into little tiny pieces. So we wouldn't have a big shard of that and it wouldn't go through our body. It just crumbles. It's like a crumble, like a cookie, and you just crumble it all up into pieces. Yes. I got a question. Sure. Why is it making noise? Why did it make a noise? Mm -hmm. No. Oh, why um, is it still crackling? Yeah. Is it still cracking? Yeah. Oh wow! Well, there's I can see it. yeah. There's still somewhat. There's still a little bit of compression in there, mm -hmm. and it's relaxing. When it relaxes, that's what happens. It makes that little noise. That is that quite amazing? Mm -hmm. But that's for safety reasons, isn't it? Mm -hmm. We use safety glass mm -hmm. to protect us, right, mm -hmm. from getting pieces of glass just all over us. Those are little tiny pieces. Okay, this is great. And that's really neat because of all these cracks too. You can see where the pressure started here and then it, it almost had a reaction that kept going. That's Lightning right. Bolt. And you know what? We've got, we've got another experiment. <gasps> you ready to go outside? Oh yeah. Right, we're gonna use, a, we're gonna have a chain <laughs> reaction outside. Let's go, let's, let's go. go outside. Oh, let's get around the table. Oh, I see ping pong balls. Oh. <laughs> Well, that sounds like fun. Oh. It, looks, yeah. it looks like a ball well, pit. What we're going to do is we're going to finish the chain reaction that we started, okay? But first, I'm going to show you a lot of energy. Then we're going to put all of that energy into a chain reaction. That'd be cool. That sounds okay, so wonderful. what we're going to do is we're going to use some liquid nitrogen for that for that chain reaction. So, Aunt Francine, uh -huh. uh, give me give me a hand. My, you, yeah, okay, right. So, I'm going to take the lid off of this right here. Safety goggle. Okay. All right. I'm going to hand you this funnel. Yes. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Don't want to rush you. Oh, don't want. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now that was the chain reaction right there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, all right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pour some of this right in here for you. Okay, you ready? Yep. Okay, let's pour this in. Mm -hmm. Now it makes a nice cloud, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It does, makes a cloud because it is actually taking some of the moisture in the air that we can't see and it's condensing it, turning it into a cloud. Isn't that amazing? That is amazing. That is amazing. Okay, all right, now what I'm gonna do is this. Now everybody's gonna have to stand all over there. Take the funnel out. Thank okay. you very much. Yep, there, it. just take it out. All right, I'm going to put the lid on this. I'm going to put this in the water in that lid over here. All right, and it's going to heat the liquid nitrogen up, turn it into a gas very quickly. Going to have a little explosion over there. That's going to be our energy. Okay, are we ready? We are. I hope so. Here we go. Let's, all right, let's get this down here. There we go. Put it on tight. I'm going to put it right in here. All right, and that water is going to take some of the heat away from that liquid I'm nitrogen. When it's going to explode in there, that's going to be our source of energy. Okay, it takes you the only. Whoa! 
whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Did you see that? Did you hear that? Oh, my lands. Hey, well, come back over here. Come back over here. Let's see. Oh, my God. That makes me. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> I plug my ears. I plug okay. my ears. Right. Ooh, that's fun. <laughs> wow. Now, that was interesting. It was. Now, now we heard that's that fun. when the bottle popped open. You know, those bottles are very strong. In fact, those bottles are strong enough. They can take 208 pounds of pressure That's before nice. they break open. We went way beyond 208 pounds, didn't we? And it Go made ahead. an explosion. So what we're going to do is we're going to use another bottle like okay. that. We're going to put liquid nitrogen in it. Okay. That's going to be the energy to cause a chain reaction force. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna need this, but before we pour this in, what we're gonna do is we're going to take we, we got three water bottles down there. Uh -huh. So grab a water bottle, you three. Can you grab a water bottle? Okay, open ahead, the lid. Benjamin. Open the lid. There you go. <laughs> you Here dead. we go. <laughs> You're not right, and go by see that blue barrel? That's pour all the water in there. Pour all the water in there for us. Okay, you got it? Okay. No, wait. Don't go away because yeah. I want you to grab the ping pong balls for oh. us. Oh. He's going to grab the ping pong balls. <laughs> all right. No. We're going to have a chain reaction what? for those huh? ping pong balls and find out what they're going to do with all of that energy that behind them. Oh. I win. There you go. How are we doing, guys? We doing, we're doing good? So let's get all the water out of there. Okay. And bring the bottles back. Don't crush the bottles, but bring the bottles back. Come on okay, over. Let's, let's go. On Come on over shelf. here. Put here we go. The Put shelf. the bottles back down in this little box right here. Yep. All right, here we go. Here we go. And Francine, let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and we're going to fill this up like okay. we did the other one. Yep. Okay, good. All right. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to fill this up. Okay. And then you're going to walk over there with me. Okay. All right. I'm going to put the bottle in there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to pour those in. All of these go inside. You got it? As yeah. fast as He's you got can. It. And okay, very good. <laughs> okay. All right. So here we go. Are you, are you ready? I think so. All right, all right. So go ahead and let's do that. Here we go. And so what are we doing? How do, why, do, why are we making the cloud? Do you remember? Yeah. Well, tell us. Because it takes all the air that we can't see and turns it into a cloud. Yeah, all the moisture in the air, right? It's condensing. Okay, it's condensing okay, all of that in there. Okay, come behind me, please. Whoa. Whoa. There we go. Is your hand getting too cold? Yeah, it is. Okay, good. well, take it off. It's fine. I can hold it for now. Okay, it's kind of weird. No, okay. I'm good. Right, right about there. Okay, so go ahead. Now, don't put the lid on yet. Okay. <laughs> okay. And so, are you ready to walk? Okay, he's ready to walk. Okay. okay. And I can't feel that very well with my glove on. But, hey, let's walk on over here. You guys stay over there. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to put this down, and then you're going to pour those in. Yes. You got it? <laughs> okay, I got it, too. All right, so here we go. I'm going to put this lid on very, very tight. Here we go. Yeah. We're going to build up pressure in the bottle. Okay. All right. So go ahead. Pour them all in. Pour them all in. There we go. Okay. Let's run over here. Come on. Let's go over here. Here we go. All right. So, and that's going to happen pretty quick. Happen pretty quick. We're going to have a chain reaction taking place. Whoa. Oh, my lands. Oh, my. Wow. Was that pretty? Oh, my goodness. Wow. Hey, well, come on over here. Come on over here. Let's check this out. Look at those bottles. Look at all of those. Look at all of those. Oh, we made a mess out here, didn't we? So what was the chain reaction? When the bottle broke open, what happened? The, I can't the see a thing. The, there was too much pressure. A lot of the pressure hit hit the the bottle when it exploded. And those hit, what, other ping pong balls and other balls. And they hit other ones and other ones. We had a chain reaction. But it was pretty, wasn't it? That was pretty. It was It was fun. really pretty. Riley, oh, I, I think it's time for our Bible text. Can you look up 2 Corinthians? Nine verse six for me. Yes. And let's read it real quick oh, because I'm thinking of a Bible text and it's right here. Second Corinthians nine verse six. But this I say, he who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. And he who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. So it means that we need to put in what? Good things, right? So we reap a lot of good harvest because we don't want to sow bad things because we're going to reap a lot of bad things, right? Yeah. right. So thanks for joining us on Creation is Science! Science!